Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Theodore Campbell. I just wanted to give you a real quick update on my kit and also kind of do a, a review. Um, I've been owning the Lisa Strike kit for probably about a year, year and a half now. And a lot of you guys already know that the Lisa uh, Strike hi-hat, at least the first version, was never considered a real good hi-hat. It it, it was like very iffy. It didn't trigger that well. Fortunately, when I bought my kit, it worked pretty well. Um, it, you know, it wasn't the best. There was a lot of times I would hit it and it would miss certain hits or it wouldn't give me that open sound right when I wanted it. So me being an amateur drummer, I wasn't really sweating it too much, but it was definitely noticeable. So I mean, it still worked and it still works now. I just wanted to upgrade it and maybe get a better sound or a better feel. So at first I wanted to check out the Roland VH10s or the VH11s. And I've always been told that they, they trigger really well. But for me, it also gave it that, that rubber look that I didn't want. And as you people can see, you know, a lot of people clown me. I tried to paint my symbols gold. And as you see, they did not hold up well at all. Matter of fact, my hi-hat, my old Elisa's hi-hat, all the gold paint is totally off it. Matter of fact, it's right here. All the gold is off. So, <laughs> very bad idea. Don't, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I chose to go with the Joe Becky real feel, a real look hi-hat. Because it gives it already that bronze look that I was looking for. And it's pretty much a metal symbol. So it, it feels just like a real hi-hat. And plus it's a two-piece hi-hat. And I really like that. Now I know a lot of the other hi-hats are not two-piece. And they work really well. But I'm trying to have my drum set to have a real feel and a, re a real look. So I decided to upgrade and get these Joe Becky symbols. And... I'm enjoying them, but I will throw out a disclaimer. I am a amateur drummer. I don't play professionally. So when I look for certain products, I'm not looking for it to be perfect. I'm not looking for it to trigger perfectly. So please keep that in mind with this review. Now for what I'm using it for, this hi-hat is working really, really well. Is it working better than the Elisa's hi-hat? Yes, it is. Now, I'm going to tell you that I am using it as a plug-and-play situation, meaning I literally plug, got it out the box, I plugged it in, and it's working just the way it works out the box. And for me, that's good enough. Does it get every hit? No. Does it get everything that I need, need it to be? No. Is it as dynamic as a real hi-hat? No. But again, I'm an amateur. I'm not trying to be a professional. I'm sure there's guys who probably can get in the module, module and tweak it to a way where it can be better. But for me, everything is working great. And I love it. I love the look of it. It looks like a real acoustic hi-hat. Feels like a real acoustic hi-hat. Matter of fact, I'm even thinking about changing the symbols out eventually. But enough of hearing me talk about it. I know you guys want to hear what it actually sounds like because that's what really matters. But first, I'm going to give you the sound of it acoustically because that is the first thing that I noticed that it is much louder because you're going from rubber to metal. So if you live in an apartment or something like that, this might be a problem. But if you live in a house or you don't have a whole lot of people living with you, you know, it, it shouldn't be a problem, but this is how a uh, rubber symbol sounds. It's not too loud, but this is how the metal symbol sound acoustically. So it is a little bit louder. It's not a whole lot bit a lot louder because they're using these low volume symbols with the holes in it and it has the 
rubber around it, but it is a little bit louder. So now I'm gonna hook it up, my phone to the uh, the iRig so you can get a little bit of a plain example. Um, I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. I'm just gonna give you, hit it at different ranges so you can hear how it sounds. And um, please don't mind the camera. I'm, it's probably gonna move a little bit. I don't have a professional setup, but here's how the actual Joe Becky sounds with the strike module. Well, hopefully that was a good playing example for you. I tried to hit it at different zones where you could hear the pitch when it was open and when it was closed from the bow to the the actual top of the hi-hat. And hopefully that gave you a good feel on how the Joe Becky hi-hat sound and how they sound with the strike module. I actually like it. It sounds great. It definitely uh, triggers better than the original uh, Lisa's hi hats. I don't know if they trigger better than uh, the actual Roland hi hats because I heard Roland makes one of the best hi hats. But for me, this works out great because it gives me the look and the feel that I want. And like I said, I'm going to eventually do my symbols, probably all Joe Becky or some other type of original. Um, symbol feel so you could get that look in the feel so if you like this video like and share and comment let me know what you think and get in the comics and i for the guys who notice i actually upgraded my snare to the joe becky snare and i will be doing a video on that telling you what i think about it so i'll talk to you guys later y'all be blessed